All right, this is my 1987 Palomino um, hard side pop-up camper. It's pretty cool. I like it. I think it's kind of a good in between between a regular pop-up camper and a hard sided trailer um because this can condense down and park into my in my garage back there um but yeah so it condenses down to about there and uh across the board and of course the sides uh, fold in so it's a nice square or rectangle driving down the street but so this side we have a king size i have the, the bed exposed and the canvas pulled up um king size bed and on this side it's more like a a full size I guess um, so the kids sleep over there and also um, wherever they want to but so this is you see I got both sides of the canvas pulled up you can see clean through to the other side we slept out here last night we're just practicing um, this is just the inside view from this king size so hey Logan hold on so we have a sink and a stove um, I just have a fan there. There's actually, uh, I went to eBay and bought a porta potty and I stuck it in that area. Um, I'll tell you all what I did there in a second. All of the windows open and all the curtains closed so it gives you full privacy. Um, this king size area actually has privacy curtains there and there that close to completely shut off this area. Um, but of course we won't be using that since the kids <laughs> will freak out if they can't see us. Dad, dad. And my daughter is sitting there at the table watching Rugrats. And that is the full size bed behind her. Um, I'm gonna walk around that side so you can see. But so, um, I got this off eBay, um, off of Facebook online yard sale, and it was in excellent condition. I actually got it for six hundred dollars. But um, the only bad thing is that the the screen, the mesh screen here, is just weak and brittle. I had to re figure out how to repair that or replace it all together. Um, there was a torn corner here, but I just sewed that up myself the other day with some needle and thread, good old fashioned needle and thread, and that's really it. Um, so the only bad thing I have to say about it um, is that uh, the screen is, is old and brittle, and that's not saying anything bad at all. So here my son, he's one years old, and here we have a refrigerator, and we have a heater unit. We have drawers and storage, and my daughter, she's three. We have uh, a sink with my earphones in it, and a stove. This stove was a uh, silver color. I didn't like that. It was the same color as the sink. I didn't like that, so I spray painted it uh, with some black charcoal paint, uh, grill paint. And again, this is a hard side, so you got this hard side that goes from, this me, booby, goes from the bottom to the top and to lower this down um, you actually like it condenses down like an accordion you um you this is a metal pole here move this metal pole up and it exposes a hinge up under there um the hinge looks just like this this hinge and um and once you unlock this hinge the whole well unlock this hinge and unlock one thing here in the back of the trailer um the camper it all just it all just comes down so um door is locked so my son will get out so on the inside just like every other camper we have an expired extinguisher we have a dining room area with a um, table that turns into a bed that can sleep e these two easily um, and this is the full size area a little dark because I have all the, all the, um, the windows closed but uh, Mr. Teddy is sitting there um, and also we have an AC unit here which is pretty cool so the AC unit does work and it blows cold we just don't use it I can't use it too much because it'll overload that 30 amp um, the 30 amp adapter that we have that we bought from Walmart for five dollars but we have storage over here yeah the one behind him then two three four five six seven seven drawers there we have storage under the seat that she's sitting in and it actually has a hole at the water um the water tank and is there. I have one bed and two beds. You have two beds? Um there's storage also up under this seat. I'm gonna put new wood down here. But yeah there's storage under here 
um, alarm clock, water hose, and a grill to cook outside away from the camper because to me that's the safest option. Um, these seat cushions are the original cushion covers. They actually zip on and off. There's a little zipper there. So we could actually get new seat cushions made. Um, and, and whatnot. And right now we just have the, the flat bed cushions on here. Um, this is a queen size sheet and it's fitting on it so maybe it's like a queen, I don't know. But it's a little baggy but because it's so thin, because the mattress is so thin. Um, all the lights work in it on the inside and the outside so that was a pleasant surprise. Um, probably replace those with LEDs just to decrease the amount of energy spent. Well, alarm bulb. Um, we have the doors and windows and stuff open because it's like 85 degrees today here in Georgia. Um, one other thing I did was I wanted to make a, a kind of mimic a space for um, privacy for a toilet. And so this was one long bench. I unscrewed it from the bottom um, and from where it was screwed to the base of the, um, of the whole unit down there. And I just lifted this whole top off, took it out, put it on the back of my um, a couple of sawhorses and cut it. It's okay. And I actually cut it in half. Um, well, I, I measured it out and I cut, cut it in half pretty much. Went to Home Depot, got some door hinges, and um, he's trying to escape. I, I, I. I'm gonna lock that right now. So, um, got some, some door hinges and ah, can't get out. Some door hinges uh, and some picture wire hanger. And I, I made it so that it hinges, and um, the picture wire hanger, or picture hanging wire is here, um, is just connected, it's, uh, it's just held in place, just as it would a picture frame. Uh, and so that way, my daughter comes and opens this, um, instead of folding all the way flat and maybe pushing some fingers, it can only go but so far. And when you're sitting here on this toilet, it kind of, blocks the view of the person sitting there because um, if you're over here and someone's just sitting on the little train you could pretty much only see that um, that much and of course that's the king size bed and this toilet is pretty cool even though we haven't actually used it um, it's sitting on the side it has a five gallon water tank at the bottom but it should actually be should actually be sitting like this yeah um, this is just the bag that it came in from eBay, so I just left it in the bag. But um, if you Google, I mean, if you just search eBay, you'll be able to see these these little guys for like fifty dollars. Um, and so there you go. And that just sits up there. And now you can sit on the toilet in semi-privacy uh, without worried about slamming. Get out of the toilet. It's nothing even is. Well, I tell you, we'll have to figure out about showers, but aside from that, we're not going to be doing any boondocking anyway. We'll be doing pretty much regular uh, <laughs> regular camping uh, where they furnish us with water and electricity and stuff like that. On the outside of the camper is the place where you hook up. Um, come on, let me close this down. Watch out. Watch out. On the outside of the camper is where we will hook up water and electricity. So it's a pretty cool little $600. Right now my daughter thinks it's her clubhouse. So that's that. All the lights work. These lights, this this light here. Can't really see, I guess, because it's daytime. There it goes. But yeah, everything works. I love it. Hold on, hold on. I'm about to come get you right now. Electric and water. An exhaust vent for the 